Hi guys, it's Dunry from Craft of Giving and today I want to share with you this really fun polymer clay Indian ring neck project. To start with you'll need to decide what colour bird you want, so this can be green or blue. I'm making a blue bird today, so I start off with grabbing a fairly big chunk of clay depending how big you want your bird to be and rolling it out into a sausage shape and then start shaping that bird into its shape by making the head, the neck, the body and the tail. Now I'm using my finger to create sort of a flatter surface on his face so this will be where the beak obviously sits and using my fingers to drag out the tail and smooth that out. Once I'm happy with my shape I grab another piece of clay and roll that into a thinner sausage and cutting them off to make them about the same size. So this is so this will ensure that my two wings are approximately the same size. Now using my fingers I am creating a teardrop by using my right hand to create a rounded edge and my left hand to pinch that into a corner by sort of creating a chain block with my, my right and left hand by overlocking in between each other like that. So my right hand is making the rounded edge, my left hand is creating the pointy bit of the feather. So basically a teardrop shape. I line them up against one another to make sure they're approximately the same size and then go ahead and place one on each side of my bird. You want to make sure that your wings are approximately the same height so you don't have one feather sitting up higher than the other otherwise your bird might not be able to fly properly. <laughs> I'm just kidding he's clay he can't fly but you know what I mean just for, for look wise you need to make sure that it sits nice and even. Once you're happy, go ahead and score some lines on the bottom half of the feather. So this is the bottom half of the big feathers. Now I'm making mine to look a bit more cartoonish than rather than realistic. So you can go ahead and make as much detail as you like. But I quite wanted, I quite liked having mine look a bit more cartoonish by just having three little feathers at the bottom of his wings. Go ahead and draw some lines in between the two wings for the back feathers, so his tail, tail feathers. And then go ahead and push those feathers back onto the tail to just round off the edge a little bit more. Once you're happy, set that bird aside and grab a piece of red clay, roll it into a ball. Now you need to decide how big your bird will be, so this will you'll need to play around with the clay to ensure that your beak looks in proportion to your bird. Ring necks tend to have quite a large beak, so play around with it. If it, do, if it looks too big, pinch off a little bit more and start again. Otherwise, add a bit more clay if it looks too small. I'm using my fingers to just create like a, a rough shape of the beak. Don't be too fussed with the shape of it right now, as we will need to reshape it as we go. For the bottom half of the beak you'll need another smaller bit of clay that we will push into a little triangle shape. And because Indian ringnecks do have a bit of black underneath their bottom half of their beak, I'm just creating that by adding a little bit of black clay to my small piece of red. But first I need to push that into a triangle by just squishing it in between my two fingers and using my left hand finger to just create another edge on my triangle. I'm not particularly too fussed with how neat the bottom half of this beak looks as all birds are unique and that line is never quite straight so I'm not worried about it being straight or not with that black edge so I'm just adding some black clay to the bottom half of my beak. Once I'm happy I'm attaching that by just pressing that clay onto the blue clay and making sure that it lines up underneath the red top half of the beak. Again, don't be too fussed with the beak shape at this stage as, as we will need to reshape it just before we bake it. So just a rough, rough shape is good. To create the, the detail on the bird's face, I'm rolling out a very thin snake of black. And this will be the line that comes from their eye that runs across the top of their beak and meet up with their other eye. Make sure you press that black clay into the blue clay so that it sticks. To create the ring that runs around his neck, I'm just rolling out another snake of black clay and wrapping that around his neck. Now I want the part underneath his beak to be a bit wider and then that line become narrow as that ring wraps around his neck. And I'll do that by just pulling gently on that snake as I bring it around and just sort of thinning out that line as I bring it around its neck. Mm -hmm. 
Again, I'm going over with my tool to just smooth out the edges and to incorporate that clay into the blue clay so that it doesn't stick out as much. I love Indian ringnecks. I think they're just the most beautiful birds and they are so intelligent and I, one day I hope to own my own bird. But for now I'll make a polymer clay one that will be nice and quiet for my neighbours. <laughs> I'm rolling out another thin snake of black and uh, outlining the beak as the ringnecks do tend to have a darker feather just running around their beak and just combining that in with the bottom half with my little tool. To create the eyes you'll need two small rounds of orange clay and I'm using my my round head tool to just press that into shape and adding another smaller ball of white clay for the inside of the eye and then finishing off with the black pupil which is of course a bit smaller than the white clay. Make sure that your eyes align up so you do not have one eye sitting a bit higher than the other and then just to finish it off I'm adding the tiniest little bit of white clay to just create a nicer sort of cartoon realistic eye than just a black pupil. I think it just adds that little bit of oomph to your eyes. <laughs> to create the feet I'm rolling out a thin or like a smallish fat snake and then pulling it into a horseshoe shape or a C shape and then using my palette knife again I'm just cutting two little slits inside the edges there and this will create the claws. It kind of looks a bit like crab claws at this stage but it, I promise you it'll look like bird's claws once we're done. Place the bird on top and just sort of press that into the clay so that it sticks. And just going over those cut edges, I'm just pinching the sides to create a sharper edge for the nails. Again, play around with the beak to reshape it as it might have been knocked about a little bit. And then to finish off, you'll need to insert an eye pin very carefully and then bake your clay according to your polymer clay's instructions and allow that to cool. Now once your clay has baked and cooled completely, go ahead and create an eye with that eye pin and attach a chain. And there you have it. Your bird is done. How beautiful is he? Now you can go ahead and glaze your clay if you wish. I'm not too fussed about glazing, but you can do that if you want. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. I upload every Monday and Thursday. I thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye!